Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. A cooler start to our day today and a much cooler afternoon that's in store for us as we get a nice dose of reality as we go through the rest of this week, this weekend, and even into early next week. More fall-like weather definitely returning and the cloud cover still lingering right now. We really lost most, if not all, of the rain, maybe just a pocket of drizzle left over the rest of this morning, but the clouds are going to be tough to break. They will gradually give way to some clearing, but the bigger story today is the temperature. The wind, remember, shifting directions. Now it's coming from the north, so that would be the cooler air we've been talking about for the last couple of days, and we're going to compare it to this time yesterday in just a second, but look at numbers right now. Hazleton, we're at 43, Pottsville 47, Williamsport at 48. Most of us hit that high temperature earlier this morning. And compare it to this time yesterday, temperatures are running a good 15, 20, even 25 degrees lower compared to 24 hours ago. So we're definitely noticing this. Here's an area of high pressure giving some clearing to western Pennsylvania, but we're still stuck in the clouds right now with this area of low pressure and the cold front. Notice that the rain is down to our south, maybe just a little drizzle that sneaks in over the next hour, but high pressure will try to give us some clearing late today before the clouds return overnight tonight. The temperature is not really going anywhere. Where we are right now is where we're going to hang out. Look what happens through the rest of the afternoon and this evening. We're dropping into the 40s and overnight tonight, even down to the 30s. Now this area of high pressure, even if it does give us some sun, it's not going to help out all that much because we're fighting the cooler air that's falling back into place. Cold front will approach from the west tomorrow. Then we actually have the remnants of Ada just off the coast tomorrow morning. Very weak remnants, so mostly what we get is cloud cover and a passing shower tomorrow morning. Moving into the afternoon, clouds and sunshine will mix. Cooler air continues to come back in for Saturday, but also another area of high pressure comes in as well. So that'll give us good sunshine Saturday. Sunday, the clouds quickly return, as will a nice little round of rain Sunday afternoon. Then behind this is much colder air for early next week. Let me go ahead and show you that as we go through the rest of today. Obviously the cooler air is working its way in going into the weekend. Here's that first shot of cool, more fall like weather. Watch what happens by next week though. Big blast of Arctic air comes in. That'll happen Monday into Tuesday with that as the colder air comes in. Even some lake effect snow showers we'll have to talk about. But today, 54 for the high in your eyewitness weather forecast. Most of us did that this morning. Some clearing to talk about later on today. Then overnight tonight, much colder at 36. 56 tomorrow, similar to today. We'll get some sunshine in the afternoon. Saturday, plenty of sun. We're near 50 and some spots will stay in the 40s. Rain returns Sunday. There's that second and bigger shot of cold air Monday through Tuesday and Wednesday. The wind is picking up. Lake effect rain and snow showers, and we'll have a tough time getting back near 40 Wednesday afternoon. And don't forget about the eyewitness.